What's up, Perfect 100 IQ Club? It's Dakar here with a banger of a jungle game. In this one, we jungle epic Grand Canyon, the hell out of the uh, enemy Sejuani. The enemy team cries. I think they shit and fart and come to. It was, it was pretty brutal. For today's match, we are Rengar up against the Sejuani in jungle. And so uh, we're going to be playing very aggressive, doing the same old level 3 invade. For our runes, we're going to have Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Coupe de Grazio, Domination Secondary with Sudden Impact, and the Relentless Hunter, that's so we can get around the map. Then we're going to have Attack Speed, Armor, and the Adaptive Damage. And then uh, for our, our Smite item, we go Red Smite. That's for the dueling. As usual, we start with a Pink the warding trinket and the red smite item and we're going to try to lay down our vision for the uh, clears. Your goals level one should usually be to use your ward to scout them out or deny the enemy team from the invade as well as to set yourself up to know what their pathing is. For our itemization since we are jungle we usually just want to go for pure damage and so uh, we're going to opt for crit over the lethality because that's the highest DPS you can get and then uh, it builds really fluidly together and we also want to get the stride breaker that's for the mobility as well as the huge dash the uh, brush jump that it also adds and like that item is pretty fucking crazy right now standard build path is usually gonna have the whip first that's our main priority CD boots finish the Warhammer into Essence Reaver, get the Dirk somewhere in there, depending on what your economy is. You can turn that into your Collector, or you can wait for your Stride Breaker first and then Collector. It doesn't, doesn't matter too much which uh, options you're going for. It's mainly depending on enemy, how squishy they are, and how many fights you're getting, stuff like that. Anyway, this game was uh, pretty clean and quick, right? High tempo, high tempo. You just want to practice making your decisions, doing things, and milking every advantage you can out of the game, right? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the show. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for liking, clicking, commenting, donating, subbing. Fucking love and appreciate you guys. Thank you. Bro, what? Now we're on to the fun part. You want to use your sweeper as you're entering the river so you can see if there's a ward. Even if you get scouted, it doesn't really matter because you win these fights. Walk into their jungle, swing in your big old dick, steal that shit, kill them, then steal everything. My jungle now. Now here we hold tab and we see that Sej has 12 CS. That means she's cleared three different camps. That's going to be the red, the raptors, the wolves. Because we know which camps are taken, we know exactly where she's going to path. I can kill this Gromp, that's while she's respawning and walking to the Krugs, then she's going to go to her Scuttle, or she does Scuttle into the Krugs. We don't know, but she's going to be pathing bot side. Right here, she makes a bit of a pathing error. She sees me move from mid to the right side, that's to the Scuttle Crab, obviously, she thinks that I already killed the left side Scuttle, but instead I killed the Gromp. I didn't have enough time to do Scuttle and then go to mid from behind, right? So that's a bit of a pathing error on her part. He's on that. Cool. So to explain why I path to the right side skull instead of the left one, I want to path so that I can do a sweep starting from my bot jungle after I finish the skull grab upward towards the Krugs where I can finish it and have a, a really fat buy. God, Sej is so lost, bro. Fucking Zack abusing idiot. Ribbon of Flash, okay. Oh, no, 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 no,
So this ult in mid, pretty ugly. Shouldn't have path like that because neither I or the Kassadin have flash. So we can't really force onto this uh, this TF, right? Instead, I should have just taken the Gromp. That was safe to take. Should be fine. Oh my god, come on, come on. <clears throat> Shittle, shitty little pathing on me right there. Could have uh, looked for a gank. She miss? So right here, why would I tell Nocturne to get off of the scuttle? Well, I am super ahead, and I get bonus XP off the scuttle, and he doesn't need to do that, and he should be closer to me so that we can pressure either the ult to mid or to cover me if the TF and the Sege collapse. Like, I don't know. It's such a basic play. Right here on the gank on Riven, little mistake, I should have used the four stack E, because up against Riven, if you can immobilize her, you remove her entire kit. She died anyway, but could have been better. No tax. She's got TP, he's got to be careful. So notice I'm incredibly strong. I've got auto cancels and I'm doing it perfectly and I still take about 22 seconds to kill this Rift Herald, right? That's how weak soloing the Rift Herald is. Of course, I didn't have anything else to do. We already killed Riven and then the entire top side jungle is gone on both his and my side. So it's, it's worth it, but that's the weakness of the Rift Herald, right? Oh, 
袋Gank round two, electric boogaloo. This time I have the Rift Herald and we lay it down top and we fuck off. We just walk away immediately because we don't want to be up there leeching his XP. We're already leeching the plates, right? We don't want to leech the XP too. We want to kill the XP on the rest of the map. Jungle is all about efficiency. If you can be efficient, you can carry every single fucking game. Right here, this 4v1 is a perfect storm for me. I have the plant up to jump to. I jump on that, gives me vision of the red. Jump on that, get the, the steal immediately. Fight the Sej. She tries to set up the four hits into stun, into ult stun, but it's just not enough because I've got my stacks. Then right here, TF comes through. I have my stacks up again. That's because I'm W max after the Q max. It gives me a lot of rotations as well as I've got 50 haste, which is a ton. Flash to go over the wall because we have the Morgana and the Kate, they're collapsing on us as well. I put the pink down in the brush. This is so that I have another jump opportunity later on, but also because I need to have that vision, need to see if there's any traps in there. I also need to see if there's any wards. If they were a little quicker on the rotation, if the enemy team had the ups on this, Let's say TF is there maybe a second, two seconds earlier, or if Morgana is there with the Sedge to secure the red, I wouldn't have been able to do this play. But because they didn't have the awareness, I get to one-shot everybody and do a fucking 4v1. <laughs> oh. Get his ass, baby! Careful! Run, baby, run! Run, baby, run! Strap breaker out of there! Yeah! Get out to there! Dominating. Don't do that. Don't do that. Ribbon's upset. This TF just got spit roasted.
I'm honored to be carried by you guys. Let's go punch this guy once. West is the same right now. No, it's not. EU is better than NA. We have high ping, which affects like a lot of players, which just naturally makes the gameplay worse. If someone can't dodge a Malphite ult because their ping is fucking 80 or whatever, that's just a limitation of the server that's pretty unique to our server. Dun -dun -dun. He'll definitely try to find me right here. It would be dishonest to blame all the issues on, on ping, right? But ping is definitely a factor. Give me that. Where's NA hosted? Chicago. And NALCS is hosted in Cali. Yep. Zachary Abuser? Yes, the Zachary Abuser?